Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this tutorial, we are going to create a little cartoon renderer on the fly in SOPS. You can see a 3D character walking in the background and we will get these solid colors for each piece and the contours around it. So let's create a new scene and just set up uh, the same procedure basically. So we would start off with the test geometry called Craig. Dive inside, we can make the character a little bit smaller and once you hit play, you will see he's moving forward, which we don't want. We want rather to move him on the spot. So extract centroid of the entire geometry set to detail and instead of having a point for the center of mass, we just want an attribute that is holding the coordinate and the detail. So now we can use a transform node to compensate for this movement by saying minus detail on our own geometry centroid first component for x third component for z would just make him stand still or at least make him just move on the spot next we want a canvas so we would make it two by two or maybe a bit more in size and set the orientation to XY plane. The resolution, I will start with 512 and move it back a few meters. I'll just set it to three. Now you can enable the character and we'll see that our canvas could be moved upwards by at least half a meter before we then use a transform node to set up a few rotations. Maybe the camera should come from top. And we also use $FF to make it rotate over time around the character. So $FF in Rotate Y would just create a, basically a camera movement. So let's next ray the entire geometry onto uh, the character. And that way you can see that this basically works. We can see the silhouette of our character here. Now instead of transforming the points, we want just the distance and of course we could now just map the distance to a color. So let's say ram from attribute, choose distance and you will see that we basically get something like a depth map which we can use by blurring it and that way we should be able to identify the contours later. What I want to use the color node for is something different. I have a name attribute on my character which I want to import. In my ray node I will set the primitive attributes to name and just say random from attribute and choose the name. So that way you can already see these constant colors especially if you reverse the entire geometry you will see it clearly and you can change the colors by simply using a different seed. All right, now about identifying the contours, this would be done by blurring the distance. I think uh, one iteration should be fine. And then we just compare the sharp image of the distances against the blurred version. So we would just put a attribute wrangle in between and set a float value which is the absolute difference between the distance on the first input against the distance of input one underscore dist of the second input. Now this difference can also be visualized using VHCD set to diff and you can see we already get these outlines and if you look closely, we also have this inside detail. And we want to pronounce this a bit more. So you would say float mask is a smooth function between 001 and 005. And then we put this or wrap this around the diff. And now when we see the mask, it's much more 
uh, what we would expect. Now, if you want your uh, original colors back, you would just multiply this and you can see now we have these uh, colored outlines based on the name attribute. And to get these solid fills, you would just invert the mask by one minus smooth. Now we have one more issue. The canvas is still moving like the camera, so we should set up a rest node right after the grid has been created and in our wrangle we would set the position back to v at rest so that way if you press spacebar h you would just see the grid and you can see the video basically on a screen all right thank you for watching